College is right around the corner for the class of 2016, but with this next level of education comes a great amount of costs and fees. Mrs. Gilman has proposed many ways to try and knock off some of these expenses and has introduced FAFSA to the seniors. FAFSA is the application for federal student aid and it is the one application that is also the number one indicator that students will indeed go to college. Many um, will do an application to college and then they, that's it and they don't follow up with the FAFSA. The, mo the most important reason is it's the money factor. It is the application that will fund most students. Also, we need to get on it ASAP because some of the programs that you apply for the FAFSA, the, the different grants or buckets of money as I like to call them, um, are on a first come first serve basis. So the earlier the students apply, the better their chances of getting more money rather than just some money. One of the biggest barriers for people who plan on continuing their education is a cost, and programs like FAFSA and Raise.me are instituted to help students accomplish their goals. They can go to college, that it's not something that is out of reach, that they have to go to college, they have to go somewhere after high school. It might be an associate's degree, an associate in arts or an associate in science, it might be a certificate or a license at a vocational school, and the FAFSA pays for all of that, so that's why we want them all to apply, but the message with everything that I do here is is you can do it if you're willing to take the steps to get there. Mrs. Gilman stresses the importance of signing up for FAFSA and encourages you to see her if you need any assistance. Reporting for Riptide, I'm Brana Guzman.